What makes a doctor a doctor? The state of Nevada is home to a close-knit group of passionate and dedicated medical residents who are actively engaged with their community. The University of Nevada School of Medicine is moving forward on the growth of graduate medical education. One of the primary factors in keeping doctors in Nevada. Residency is uh, training that uh, people complete after they graduate from medical school. Um, a lot of people think, you know, go to medical school, you're a doctor, you can go out in the world and practice. But uh, residency is required uh, to receive a medical license to practice medicine to see patients. So it can vary from a minimum of three years to many more, depending on what someone specializes in, if they uh, pursue fellowship, advanced training. Someone who graduates from medical school is a medical doctor, but they're not licensed to practice medicine without completion of a training program of some kind. And that's what residency programs are. And they range in uh, different types, uh, from family medicine, internal medicine, obstetrics, gynecology, surgery. It's a number of different fields that people can pursue. The medical school gives you the foundation for all of those, but residency gives you the path that you go down and actually what type of doctor you become. Plantar fasciitis would be another one now that I think about it, if you wanted to do... Are you going to topic for a month? Yeah, and I was... Something musculoskeletal? Uh, residency has uh, high stress at times, um, high work hour demands, and you just need that balance to stay sane. Uh, still have your hobbies, still spend time with your friends, still spend time with your family is very important, is as important as doing on-the-job stuff. All right, so do you feel better since coming into the ER? Yeah. All right, well, it, you look a lot better. We like your blood pressure now. And so our plan is we're gonna switch you to a different antibiotic that's better for kind of skin problems. And then uh, we'll just see how you do. What attracted me to the University of Nevada School of Medicine residency program was uh, one is the city. Um, being in Las Vegas, it's a tourist city. So not only is Vegas already a diverse city, but we have tourists coming in every day from other countries, different cultures. And so this is one of the unique cities where you get to see diseases of the world, not just of your state or of your country. So the main thing that attracted me to rural medicine was the fact that as a rural physician, um, it kind of goes back to the traditional role of a family physician, which was like a general practitioner of old. Um, they were practicing medicine very widely. They were seeing patients in the hospital, delivering babies, doing surgical procedures, because there's nobody else around to do those kinds of procedures. Initially, I was a medical student here at the University of Nevada School of Medicine, um, and I saw how much the attendings cared for um, our education. Our class size was very small. We had about 62 students per year, whereas most uh, medical schools have 120 to 180 students per year. So there was a lot of focus on individualized education. Now an elliptical incision, right, just right, carry it down through the skin. Well, this is a rural residency training, and what we're trying to do here is to teach all the skills that a physician can use in a rural setting, such as a lot more intensive work in, in taking care of sick patients in the ER, to do a little bit of basic surgery, to do a little basic obstetrical care, and uh, some more comprehensive work in, in our clinics. What attracted me to rural medicine is I grew up here in Winnemucca, and this is my home. Um, I had a lot of opportunities to go to other places, but this is a place that really allows a physician to practice full spectrum medicine. You can deliver babies here, you can take care of sick people, sick kids, you can work in the emergency room, you can take care of people that are dying, you can take care of a lot of complications where things are less boring and routine. But more than anything, it's the people that I know and grew up with here is the people I get to take care of.
If we look just at Nevada itself, those individuals who go to the University of Nevada School of Medicine, if they graduate and stay here in the state to do their residency training, 80% uh, of them will actually practice within the state of Nevada. If they go to the University of Nevada School of Medicine, go out of state to complete their family medicine residency training, there's only about a 36% chance that they will come back to Nevada. So the whole purpose of having residency spots within a state is to be able to keep them within the own state to serve the population of patients within the location where they do their residency training. Nevada is a state that is underserved. It has an enormous amount of opportunities for physicians, for healthcare providers, healthcare workers uh, to really make a difference in the lives of the patients. And that is one of the reasons that I ended up moving here. Um, my heart has always been in academic medicine and in trying to improve the healthcare and quality that we deliver to patients.